So this was three years ago today. I had my wisdom teeth removed. Uh, and I'm gonna bring that chin strap back. No, you are not. Today is Father's Day, so happy Father's Day to all the fathers. And we're going to Huntsville to have dinner or lunch, I guess lunch, and maybe some pool town someplace. And that's kind of all we're doing today. Being Father's Day, people may wonder, well, why aren't you going to see your father? Well, it's because I guess I have a father, but parents split up when I was like, I think 17 or 18 or something like that. And it's just, we've never been, he's never been in my life since really, like at all. And it's not anything that I ever even think about because it's almost been like half my life, I guess, without, without that there. And I figured out how to do things on my own and, and become uh, a better person on my own and things like that without that contribution in my life, I guess. So it's not like I'm striving for it or, or want it or anything like that. I've kind of always, I think, been kind of a, a loanish type person, sort of. And it's just something that doesn't bother me. People's like, doesn't it, well, doesn't it bother you? Why doesn't it bother you? And I get that a lot and it doesn't. And when I talk about it, it doesn't bother me. I don't think about it much. Uh, I have no, you know, issues and I feel like I need to get resolved over it. It's just one of those things that that's known and I just go on about my life and, and that's it. It doesn't really weigh on me. Well, we went to the Father's Day thing. It's a good barbecue. We shot over to um, her sister, her sister's community pool and their subdivision there. Hung out with the kids. Shot back over to their house and had um, hamburgers good stuff today um, she's actually had like pink eye so I've been like avoiding her at all costs like the plague so she went to the doctor about that and got some prescription drops we're going to the beach in like less than a week now so she's trying to heal that up real quick so she'll be on that thing for a week so I'll be steering clear of that She's eyeballing me from downstairs. You don't even see my camera. Because look, look, the door, door's in the way. So I'm just like leaned up against talking to like somebody was there. You. Because you got pink eye. I'm just telling them that you have pink eye. She knows she's got pink eye. <laughs> What? Don't use that. What? Don't do that. Don't. What? That's crossing a line. That's That's a we had lunch today at Logan's Roadhouse, and tea was two dollars and fifty nine cents a piece. Yeah, an unsweetened tea was two dollars and fifty nine cents. I just felt like that's pushing the extreme boundaries of tea because I think we bought a whole case or box of Lipton tea for how much you say it was? Or two bucks or something but I don't know nickel and diamond here and there and then they're running a special where it's two people can eat for $15.99 sweet tea and beer unsweet tea and beer this is a southern style dish it's not what is this baby holy what's this mushrooms what do you think tea check out our tomatoes there's one here, one, oh yeah, well you can see down here at the base. One, two, three, four, five of these here, which I don't recommend planting them this close, but the good thing is I think it's working fine. It's growing up straight. Uh, we put these sticks in here with twine connecting them all. Have, so it has some place to lean the branches of the tomato plants over onto it so it doesn't break itself off. But we've got the first red one coming there. These everywhere. I think everything but like maybe one plant is producing something right now. You can see these little little guys there and there and there and stuff. So she's excited. I'm excited for her. This is her thing. She's been spraying it down with all natural um what is that? All natural pesticides once a week or so and it's working out great. 
with anything eating the leaves or anything and I'm hunkered down like under, under my deck right now but everything's turning out great so let me stroll through here check out this grass right this is crazy because I mowed last week and we went through this little drought period and it just came this huge flood out here and the grass just shot up out of nowhere but we're going to the beach soon so I'm having to put this off for a few days and I'm going to mow it at the end of the week so it will last. Look at them out there stomping around. This is how thick it's gotten. Or how tall. Look at that. Chloe! These are the deck plants. I have no idea what's what. I know that's a pepper jalapeno and maybe a bell pepper plant or something. I don't, I don't have a clue. But we group them all together right here so that when we go on vacation, I will uh, zip tie that to the handle of my grill and set it up on mist. And I've got a timer that'll go off that I'll mount right here. Uh, attach it in between the hose and the hose wand or whatever. But I'll be able to water all these while we're gone. And the one down there, the tomato plants are on the timer as well. A little rant time. United States Postal Service, I went there, I carried three boxes, two of which was, were large. And one was a small box, what I would consider a small box. Uh, I was able to get, on the small box, I was able to get $300 insurance. And uh, I think it was $12 or $14 shipped to someplace. I don't know where. Uh, the other box was large. The other two boxes were about equal in size. One weighed a little bit more than the other one, and that was it. So the big box that weighed less than the other one, which was a little bit more, it was able to ship for, uh, I think it was $17. And it wasn't equal distance as far as shipping distance away, but that doesn't matter. Let me get to the point. The point is the third box, the, the large box that was a little bit heavier than the second box, shipped to California, it was $40. And it wasn't going equal distance. It had to do with the area. It had to do with the state. Uh, we were talking up there, and I was like, you know, it's kind of weird how you can order something, like, in a huge box. I'm talking about, like, a ginormous box, like a water cooler. which was huge. It's free two-day shipping. And um, I have to go standard shipping. It's $40 to California. And she's like, well, yeah, you know, it's contract. It's, it's a deal. She's like, we have a really big deal with like Amazon where they pretty much do it for nothing at all. And in the, the, uh, the, the savings, or no savings, but the, they, have, they still have to make money. So what they do is they pass that on to the average Joe and they ship something or sell something off eBay. And it's kind of regional. It's like California, uh, New York, places like that. The shipping sky high because the population is so dense. And a lot of people buy, we'll say, from Amazon all the time, two-day shipping, boom, 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 going to those places. And then we come along, going to ship a box, and it costs 40 bucks because they have to make that difference up. That sucks. I'm trying the hazelnut um, double-shot energy drink, the Starbucks one, for the first time. It's really good. It's hazelnut, so... It's no big surprise. Now, the biggest surprise, which I wasn't ballsy enough to get it, but I will, I think, is the Mexican mocha. They have a Mexican mocha, one of those. And I'm like, I like the mocha, I know, but what is the Mexican mocha? Is it spicy? Is they put some spice in there or something? I don't know. So if you've tried it, uh, comment down below if you like it or not, because if you like it, I may try it. I'm just on the fence with it. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of like that Mexican uh, Bud Light or whatever it is. I don't know if you've ever seen that, but it's kind of like, I don't know, this Bloody Mary Bud Light-ish thing. I don't know. It's just gross. Oh, I don't like Bloody Marys. I can't forget to mention, too, that I went to the United States Postal Service, and I was honest. Normally, I'm kind of not honest about the lithium batteries that may be in stuff I ship because they ask you, right? This time, I was like, I'm honest. So, it was a camera I was selling. I removed the lithium battery out of the camera, wrapped it up individual in the box, and I told them exactly that. And she's like, oh, well, let me look over here. And she's got this chart. And she's like, yeah, it has to be attached to the camera. Can't ship at all. 
loose lithium batteries. Period. If it's wrapped or not wrapped, something about it can explode on a plane. I mean, it, but it can be in the camera, mounted in the camera, or on the device, or whatever, but it just can't be loose. That's ridiculous. We're going to McCollum's Catfish and Seafood Restaurant. It's got a long-standing history in the community. It's something that's been around. It's, it's something that all the old people go to after church, that kind of restaurant. And I've been going to it since I was a, uh, a little kid, but I haven't been that I can remember since pre-teen, so maybe like nine or 10 years old, I think is the last time I was there. But my grandparents used to go to it all the time, but the long story short is it's closing this Friday or Saturday. So it's probably gonna be packed out because people are gonna be going that that was an old tradition with them or something like me uh, as a kid they went. So it's probably gonna be packed. It's not that big of a place. We went the other day and they were closed and we walked in and we're like, hello, because it was like, nobody in there and if somebody stuck a head out of the kitchen and like we're closed and so we left and they locked up behind us but anyway that's what we're doing so i'll let you know how that tasted in just a second we have returned from mccullum's catfish and seafood i had the seafood platter she had uh i think it was fish and shrimp or something like that Supposed to have been boneless fillets. They arrived with the bones in them. We waited an hour for our food. The waitress was probably the rudest thing that I could ever imagine it being. And I think it's a generational thing. It's the food was not that the dogs are like lapping up some water like they've never had it before. But um, I think it's just like a generational thing because that was super fried. Like juices flowing and it just really wasn't good and probably maybe when i was a kid it would have been good but just because that was what i was used to eating with you know grandparents that style of food and around here in the south i mean that's you know you what kind of food you have in the south deep fried and that was a known thing but it's really not like that anymore a lot of these this big health craze and push has really taken a good effect on the whole nation. So um, fried food's just a, a, a thing of the past, like that fried. Now we're going to call Dish Network about CBS channel. Like Dish has dumped the channel, they're in these negotiations and, and stuff about it, but regardless, we don't have CBS. I show an account having a last name starting with M-O-R-R. -R. If this is the account you are calling about, press 1. Thank you for choosing Dish. My name is MJ. May I have your name, please? Uh, yes, it's Isaiah Morris. Thank you so much, Mr. Morris. And how can we help you with your Dish account for today? I was just calling about the uh, WHNT 19 CBS uh, local station that's off the air. And I was wondering if, if I could get a credit to my account for not having that channel. And regarding that, Mr. Morris, we can definitely check other um, other options on how can we go by applying an adjustment to the account. Because, yeah, um, actually, um, we are very sad about those channels being removed on air because uh -huh. um, we are not able to reach an agreement with Tribune Broadcasting Company, which, which is the company who owns the channel. And as of this moment, uh, Mr. Morris, we are still in the process of, um, of negotiating with them to hopefully reach an agreement uh, with Tribune Broadcasting to have the channel back from the lineup so that you will be able to enjoy it again. And we are actually glad that you called in um, and uh, share um, share us how you feel about those channels. We can definitely submit a feedback about this, that you are one of our valued customers that is looking forward to have this channel back. And this feedback will be um, submitted directly to our executive team to let them know how you feel about this channel uh, channels being removed temporarily um now uh, regarding those um regarding the credit that you are um that you are requesting for the meantime mr morris since we're still on the process of negotiating with uh Trinidad broadcasting and we are pretty confident that uh we will be able to have this channel um channel soon 
we could definitely uh, provide um, a credit of ten dollars on your bill for okay. uh, for this month, so that instead of one hundred seventeen dollars and one cent, the bill will just be down to one hundred seven dollars and one cent, and this credit will just be a, uh, will just be applied in the next twenty four hours. Okay, um, and if this continues on to the next month, will the credit be added, or would I have to call back every month until it's negotiated out? Well, since, well, regarding this one, Mr. Moore, since the feedback has already been submitted um, to our executive team, if there will be like any updates with regards to this, uh, with regards to this programming or to this negotiation, we will go ahead and let you know about this, so that. Um, um, instead of you calling us, our executive team will be calling you instead if there will be any updates regarding the um, regarding the negotiation. Or if you wanted to um, check um, the progress, you can definitely go to dishpromise.com so that you can definitely be with you that personally on that website. And this will, be, uh, um, this will actually be a big help. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate that. You're very much welcome. Ten bucks? Mm -hmm. Thank God the phone, <laughs> looks the phone off. Ten bucks beats no bucks. Man, that's actually better than I thought. I was thinking it was gonna be like two bucks or something crazy.